The rehabilitation of the DC Extended Universe continues with Birds of Prey and the fantabulous emancipation of one Harley Quinn. The movie has screened for critics, and early viewers are taking to social media to heap praise on the Margot Robbie-led film. This is what they're saying. Joining Harley in her quest to bring the pain to Ewan McGregor's Black Mask are a pair of kick-ass antiheroes, a Gotham City cop, and one scrappy kid. Journey Smollett Bell portrays Black Canary, while Mary Elizabeth Winstead holds down the role of Huntress. They are flanked by Rosie Perez's detective Rene Montoya and Cassandra Kane, a youngster who has incurred the Black Mask's wrath, played by Ella J. Bosco. Critics near unanimously opine that this cast, as they say, freaking killed it. Courtney Howard of Fresh Fiction tweeted, Delightfully devilish and deliriously wicked, this irreverent, rule-breaking riot delivers a contact high. Kathy Yan is a genius. Robbie, Smollett, Winstead, Perez, and Basco are perfection. Some critics disagreed amongst themselves, not about whether or not the cast aced it, but rather around the question of who aced it the hardest. Angie Hunt of Mashable tweeted that Winstead's Huntress is the movie's clear MVP, while fan cited Kristen Lopez opined that Smollett Bell's Black Canary was, on the contrary, the movie's real show-stealer. What? You are so cool. Yolanda Machado of The Rap, meanwhile, refused to take sides. She tweeted, It's truly an ensemble with every woman bringing it. Christina Hodson's script was lively, funny, and everything I've been waiting for in the DCEU. Kathy Yan created a Gotham that I can't wait to revisit. Chemistry among the cast is great, but Birds of Prey is a superhero movie, and critics also agree that it delivers the action-packed goods with some of the craziest, most visceral fight scenes ever put to film. You heard that right. Yan and company have apparently created a true action showcase, the likes of which the DC films had not yet seen. Lest you think we're being hyperbolic, here's what Rosie Knight of IGN has to say. She wrote, Damn, Birds of Prey delivers! It's a glittery, hard action comedy that has the best choreographed fight scenes I've seen in a superhero movie. It also features my fave comic book film needle drop ever. Her colleague Laura Prudhomme agreed. She tweeted, Birds of Prey is a riot, oozing with attitude and some of the most inventive, bone-crunching fight sequences in the superhero genre to date. I went in with low expectations and was pleasantly surprised by how much fun I had. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, but has style to spare. Jill Pantosi of io9 called the fight scenes phenomenal, and Cinema Blend's Sean O'Connell echoed this sentiment, admitting, Birds of Prey is worth seeing for the kick-ass action and the funhouse fight scene alone. The trailers for Birds of Prey give every indication that McGregor would give an unhinged, gleefully scenery-chewing performance as Black Mask, and we're happy to report that this indeed appears to be the case. For all your noise and bluster, you're just a... A silly little girl with no one around to protect her. In fact, we'd go so far as to say that early reactions indicate that we might just be looking at the best villainous performances in a DCEU movie to date. Griffin Schiller of The Playlist tweeted, Could not get enough of McGregor's black mask. Hysterical, eccentric, and deliciously pathetic. A rockin' kick-ass good time. Comic book's Brandon Davis called McGregor's performance sinister and hilarious, while veteran film critic Katie Walsh simply tweeted, For your consideration, Ewan McGregor, Best Supporting Actor. McGregor did have a bit of competition, however, from Chris Messina, who portrayed the Black Mask's psychopathic sidekick, Victor Zaz. Angie Han tweeted, Would you like to send a little prayer of thanks for the costume, makeup, and hair people responsible for Chris Messina's entire situation here? Because wow, yes, thank you. Of course, some reviewers jumped online to point out some of the flick's faults. Some critics felt that the flick worked better as a Harley Quinn solo vehicle. Others had minor issues with the pacing or the plot. For instance, Jermaine Lucier of io9 tweeted, Birds of Prey is solid. The unpredictable structure keeps the first half moving, and the action boosts the rest. Robbie is excellent, as is McGregor. It's tamer than expected, and the basic story can get lost in the complex setups, but it works more often than not. Yes, this is pretty much the closest any critic came to a negative assessment. All in all, the flick was heralded as one of DC's best, thanks in large part to Yan and Hodson, who have apparently crafted something pretty special. The DC Extended Universe may have gotten off to a rocky start, but it looks like the franchise has finally hit its stride thanks to more universally well-received flicks like Aquaman and Shazam. Placing an emphasis on solid standalone movies made by gifted, committed filmmakers has paid off. Go figure. And some critics went so far as to place Birds at or near the top of the DCEU pack. 
Mike Rougeau of GameSpot tweeted, I'm happy to report that Birds of Prey is my favorite modern DC movie yet. Like Shazam, it carves its own path with totally unique aesthetic, action, and tone. Margot, Ewan, and all the rest are 100% fantabulous. Mashable's Allison Foreman called the flick, quote, leagues better than Suicide Squad, and opined that this was, quote, in large part because we get a rare glimpse into the rich inner life of a female supervillain, and it actually delivers on what was promised in the trailer. Discussing films, Ben Roth summed up the consensus with his tweet. He wrote, Birds of Prey is a stylishly fantastic ride. Margot Robbie is in top form. Harley has never been quirkier and more lovable. Well made, shot with beautiful color, and overall, a sleek piece of grand entertainment. Also, McGregor is the best. We need more Birds of Prey. It's great. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot to look forward to. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn hits the big screen on February 7th, 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies and TV shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.